Good morning, Saugus. I'm Marissa Lamas, and today is Friday, March 3rd. And I'm Nina Rapol. This is SNN. Let's start off today's show by going to Miss Dickerson with her message on the Serenity Space. Good morning, Sagas. It's me again. This month is National Sleep Awareness Month, so I have to ask, how are your sleep habits? Teens need 8 to 10 hours of sleep per night to help keep their physical health, mental health, and school performance. If you're having trouble with your sleep schedule, consider these five tips to get better sleep. First, create a consistent pre-bed routine to help with relaxation and falling asleep quickly. Second, avoid taking long naps, especially after 3 p.m. It can throw off your ability to rest during the night. Third, avoid caffeine or energy drinks, especially in the evenings. This can lead to more waking up at night and interrupted sleep. Fourth, ditch the devices. Put away your electronic devices for at least half an hour before bed and keep them on silent mode to avoid the notification pings. And fifth, remember that the bedroom is for sleeping. Avoid doing stressful activities in your room. This will help keep the stress of daily activities outside your sleeping space. On Thursday, March 23rd, there will be a student sleep workshop at 6.30 p.m. via Zoom. Questions that will be answered in this workshop include why is sleep important, how much sleep do we need, how do I improve my sleep, what is good sleep hygiene, and what should I avoid before bedtime. And don't worry, it won't go too late, so you'll still be able to get a good night's sleep. If you can't make the student sleep workshop on Zoom, please come by the Serenity Space and we can chat about how you can get a more restful night's sleep. That's all for me today. Have a great rest of your day and try to get some quality sleep this weekend. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Mrs. Dickerson. To celebrate Women's History Month, excuse me, Women's History Month, we thought we'd tell you about Mother Teresa. Mary Teresa Boyaji, Boyaji Yu, was born on August 26, 1910, in, in present-day Skopje, North Macedonia. Early in her life, she became fascinated with missionaries and by 12 decided to commit to religious life. After completing her studies at the Sisters of Loretto in Ireland, she traveled to India where she taught at St. Teresa's school and adopted the name Mother Teresa after the patron saint of missionaries. In, in, excuse me, in 1950, she let the school found the Missionaries of Charity, a religious congregation providing homes for people in medical crises. The home ran soup kitchens, clinics, counseling programs, and various other resources. Mother Teresa's charitable work was honored with numerous awards, including the 1979 Nobel Peace Prize. In death, she remains revered for her humanitarian efforts and her strides as a woman of color. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Seniors, SNN needs your photos for our annual senior slideshow. You can submit photos from your childhood through high school, whether it be through sports life, class life, extracurricular activities, or vacations. Be sure to submit any memories that you'd like to look back on when reflecting on your time at Saugus. Submit your photos to us on our direct excuse me, on our Instagram page over direct message. Email us at the link listed below or using the QR codes posted around campus. Speaking of seniors, all graduating seniors must locate their names on the graduation list outside the campus supervisor's office. The names posted will appear on your diploma. If you need to change your name or if you have a preferred one, visit the registrar's office immediately. Now let's go to Priscilla Fenyate with today's Saga Sports Update. Thanks, Nina. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Priscilla Pinata with today's Saugus Sports Update. Today, baseball plays Granada Hills, JV plays at Granada Hills, and Varsity plays at Saugus. Both games start at 3.30. Today and tomorrow, track and field competes in the Redondo Invitational at Redondo Union. 
The meet starts at 12 today and 8.30 tomorrow. Also tomorrow, boys volleyball plays in the Foothill Tourney at Foothill. JV plays at 7. Swim competes in the San Luis Obispo Relays at San Luis Obispo. The meet starts at 9. Finally tomorrow, Varsity Boys Tennis plays in the first serve tournament at West High at 8. Good luck to all our Centurion athletes. That's all for me. Sometimes, Saga students like being a Centurion so much while they attend our school that they come back after college. Here's the story of one Centurion who came back to serve the school that served them so well. Once a Centurion, always a Centurion. <laughs> I am a resource teacher and athletic director. This is my fifth year. So I started at Sierra Vista Junior High in 95 and taught there for three years and then transferred here. So I've been here for 25 years. I graduated in 1989. 1989. Yes. I enjoyed every day here on campus. I'm telling you, I have hundreds of memories. I guess it would be a lot of it would be playing sports. I played football and baseball here, and but not only that, even my teachers, so many memories within the classroom that I remember vividly. I still talk to many of my teachers, which we're talking, shoot, that's over 30 years ago. And I still talk to many of them. I wanted to be the head baseball coach here one day. Uh, that's the honest truth. I. That's why I became a teacher. Um, I initially wanted to be an FBI agent, uh, but I had a major injury to my shoulder my senior year, so that kind of derailed those plans. And then looking at my, you know, a Coach Phillips, Coach Flaherty, Mrs. Clark, Mrs. Stevenson, Mr. Van Doozy, all these teachers, uh, and I, they enjoyed so much what they did and working with people. I thought that would be a perfect avenue for me. So that's why I went into teaching and then I immediately started coaching once I came back from college. And, uh, and then things just worked out for me, honestly. So I actually went to, I had major surgery on my right shoulder and went to COC and redshirted a year and then played baseball there for two years and really took advantage of my time there because I stockpiled a ton of units and then transferred and played baseball at Sonoma State and, and then came back. Sports have been a huge part of my life. It's something, I mean, five, six years old, you know. I've learned many a lesson because most of the time in sports, things aren't gonna go exactly the way you want them to. And there are plenty of things that have happened in my life on this campus to where didn't go as planned, so from sports, you know, <laughs> you turn to you learn to get up. I gotta tell you, here I was a I was a quarterback on a pretty bad football team, so there are plenty of times that I got knocked down. <laughs> I was a tackling dummy for a lot of uh, good football programs across this state, <laughs> but you learn to get up. And don't let them get the best of you, and look them in the eye and say, "Come do it again. I'll be here." Thank you to Mr. Lapata for continuing the great tradition of Saugus Teacher Excellence. You are an inspiration to the future teachers you currently have in your classroom. We wish you a long and successful career. COC, COC's librarian's visit to the library has been postponed to lunch on Friday, March 10th. The presentation will detail some of the differences between high school and college libraries. The presentation is open to all students interested in attending COC after high school. If you have not yet picked up your school photos, they are in the front office. You must ask the, desk, the, the front desk in order to receive your photos. Now, let's go to our scholarship news. The California Credit Union Annual Scholarship Program is available. The Credit Union awards 20 students $1,000 scholarships. To be eligible, you must be a senior with a minimum GPA of 3.0. You must include academic performance, school or community involvement, a letter of recommendation, and an essay submission. Applications are due by next Friday, March 10th. 
For more information and to apply, use the link listed below. Courageous, Vers Courageous Persuaders video competition is now open with $17,000 of scholarships available. Courageous Persuaders is a video competition related to the dangers of drinking, driving, and distracted driving. You must submit a 30-second TV commercial about these dangers. The winning video will be broadcast on national television and posted on their website and social media. For more information and to submit an entry, use the link listed below. Submissions are due next Friday, March 10th. That's all for today. I'm Marissa Lamas. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Sogs Today. And I'm Nina Ruffle. Have a great day, a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.